Welcome to Michael's Beer Review, Evil Twin Brewing Pills, German Pilsner, 5.5 alcohol, I've never had Evil Twin Brewing, it's in Brooklyn, New York, distributed by 12% LLC. Um, let's go, I've been sipping on it, so I have my thoughts, it looks like a Pilsner has some lacing, this has some biscuity, herbals, hops, smell, kind of a citrusy, piney smell to it too. I think they put different hops. This taste test. It's not bad. You know what? wrong with sometimes these beer, the brewing, I like a true Pilsner, which doesn't put in those types of hops that make it citrusy. I think I forgot, I forgot the hops names. The um, piney taste overthrows the breadiness and the herbalness. I can't really taste it. So the tastes like a watered down American pale ale. That's what it, this does. And I wish breweries didn't do that. I wish breweries just stuck with the traditional, try to brew it like it is, and not throw in some hops to make it to go away from the. It's not even a pilsner. It's not bad. I could taste some breadiness to it. Some malt, some biscuity, but very biscuity. More forward on the hops, piney, grapefruit, citrusy. It's refreshing, but it's a daytime IPA. All right, so it's not a German Pilsner. They're trying to throw in a German Pilsner to hop it out to make those make it taste like a pale ale, which I understand that, but. Who else did that? I think a Victory Pilsner did that, and I didn't like it. I hated it. I might not try to bitch or anything, but uh, just stick with the style, the breweries, and they'd be doing all right. But if you go away from the style, you get just like it doesn't taste like it. And I like a good German Pilsner. Those are my favorite beers, but they don't they don't stick with the style. But it's a good drinking beer if it's, it was American IPA. <laughs> That's the thing. Um, what would I? I'll take a St. Pauli's girl over this. That's six ninety nine. How much is this? Is I want to pay over six bucks a six pack for this. Um, right, there's beers at uh, Trader Joe's for four ninety nine or better. This give it a seventy one. Barely a C. It's it's decent. It's drinkable. If it's an IPA, it's not sure. It doesn't drink like a German Pilsner, which I have tasted. But a seventy one, barely a C minus. Um, I mean, Evil Twin Brewery a Pilsner. Do you like hopped out Pilsner, which tastes like American IPA? That's what the thing that throws me about these beers. It's like, just stick with the style. This Trumer Pilsner, it was great. It just tastes like a Pilsner. This one just tastes like a, again, IPA. I'm my third time saying that, but um, again, stick with the style. I like the style. If I want a Pilsner, I want a traditional Pilsner, not something hopped out. Something they're trying to stretch out. That's the thing. If you're going to buy something... It's hard to buy. You give me a Pilsner. And t if, it's a, if a bartender in Evan ever tasted this, and a bartender gives this back, I'll say, this is not the this is not a Pilsner. And they go, oh, okay, I'll give you another beer. That guy would be nice, but it wouldn't be a bit. <laughs> it's misleading the public when they call it a Pilsner. That's all I got to say. But it isn't a bad beer. It's a C beer. I wouldn't buy it again. But Evil Twin Brewery, have you had any of beers? Let me know. Comics, questions. And uh, 